Hey Bosch fans, welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Lacquer, and today we are doing a tag video. This is the A to Z's of Indie Nail Polish, and this was put up by Amy from Nail Polish Baby 90, and this is essentially going over the indie brands and picking one for all the different letters of the alphabet. So let's dive right in, because I was able to find most of them, but I am definitely missing a few down here towards the end of the alphabet. So for A, I picked out this one, All Mixed Up Lacquers. This is a fairly new to me brand. This is my first bottle from them. And this particular one is called Secret Garden and it was from the February Polish Pickup. And it was this beautiful and very fun gray polish. Look at all of the glitter that she put in there. You've got glitter and shimmer in so many different beautiful colors. Had to get this one. Really glad to have that one. So for A, we've got all mixed up lacquers. For B, we have one of my favorites. This is B's Knees Lacquer. And this has been one of my favorite indie brands for a really long time. They come out with some really unique shades, really good collections, and really fun inspirations. This particular one is called T-Virus. And this one, I believe, originally came out in one of their like mystery bags. And I had to get a hold of it. I believe it also came back because of popular demand <laughs> and was sold individually on its own. And it's this beautiful and very unique color. It's not coming across accurately on camera. It is this very unique shade of like rusty pink. And it is full of shifting shimmer and iridescent flakies. Really hard to see. It's coming across very sort of nudie orange in my viewfinder here. But I think you can see that shifting shimmer. See that goodness there? Whew. It is stunning in person. So B's knees is my letter B. For C, I chose another one of my favorites. This brand is called Cadillacer. And this is from, well, I always get it confused. Switzerland, I think, is, is where they're from. And this particular one is from The Ashes. And this was a really neat collection that she put out. It was a fan collection. So I forget if the fans actually like helped make the polishes or inspire the polishes. But this particular one is this beautiful dusty blue. And look at the beautiful mix of glitter in there. You've got reds and blues and purples. You've got some shifting flakies in there. A little bit of gold. Very beautiful beautiful polish and very unique to my collection. So for the letter C, we have Cadillacer. Then for D, we have Dollish Polish. This one I actually don't have that many from, and it's kind of a silly reason. It's essentially the bottle. <laughs> I'm kind of weird about my caps. I don't like the square caps, but I do like some of their polishes. They have a lot, actually. I, I should just get over my <laughs> lid <laughs> issue. But since I have a lot of my nail polishes organized like this, it's a little hard to put that on this. Anyways, I digress. For D, I picked up Dollish Polish. And this one is Where My Peeps At. This one is a really new to me polish. This came in the last order from Polish Pickup for last month. So this one is this beautiful bright blue sort of turquoise full of these beautiful neon glitters in an array of colors. You've got yellow, green, pink, a little bit of red and purple. Really fun. This was one of my must-haves for that month. Really unique to my collection and a really fun polish. So for the letter D, we have Dollish Polish. Then for the letter E, I picked up an Emily Damali. Emily Damali is another one of my absolute favorite brands. She comes up with just amazing combinations lovely glitter mixes, unique colors, and she's really good at the shimmer polish as well. This particular one is a new one that I got recently called Turbulence. It's one of her glitter mixes, and you can see a whole bunch of different shapes and sizes. You've got some little diamonds in there. You've got holographic, and those little diamonds are really unique. So just really fun polish there. And again, for E, I have Emily Damali. For F, we've got one from Fancy Gloss. This one is called Fire Opal. And this is another brand that I really like, although I 
don't have that many of their polishes just yet. I did recently get though a bunch of her flaky polishes, but this one is absolutely beautiful. Had to include this in my A to Z for Indies. So again, for F, we have Fancy Gloss. And for G, I had a few choices. I could have picked up Glam Polish. Glam is one of my favorites, but I wanted to pick one that hadn't been shown in Amy's video. So I picked one from Glisten and Glow, and this is a newer one to my collection. This is a beautiful Crowley, and this one is called 10 Year Anniversary Commemorative Polish and just a beautiful, fun, light lilac shade full of hot pink glitters, white matte glitters, and these bright neon lime green, and there's also yellow glitters as well. So those are two different shades. I'm not sure how well that's going to come across, but beautiful polish, really nice brand. The quality is always really good. Another one that is my favorite from this brand is another fairly new to me from Polish Pickup. This one is Baby Shark. And I keep wanting to put this on. So in the next couple of days, two weeks, I will probably be wearing this one. But for this A to Z for Indies, I picked Glisten and Glow for my letter G. Then for H, I picked one from Heather's Hues. This one's called The Deepest Kind of Love. And I believe this is another polish pickup one. And I only have three polishes from her, and I think all of them might be from Polish Pickup. But it's a beautiful shade here. This one is a very deep blue. And I don't know if most of the things in here are even going to come across on camera because of my lighting today. But it's really full of an array of things. You've got this shifting shimmer in there. You've got shifting iridescent flakies. Very beautiful polish. And very oceany on the nails. Very, very beautiful. So for H, I picked Heather's Hues. For I, I picked one from Inspirations, and her brand is going out of business, but she does still have, at least as of filming this, polishes on her website. This particular one that I am picking to showcase is one that you've heard me talk about before. It's Luke 2343. It is one of my favorites. It is in the tops of my pinks. It's in the tops of my summer colors. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous nail polish. It is this very deep fuchsia, and it's loaded with this contrasting blue shimmer and those darker pink glitters. It's really unique, really beautiful. For a while, I was looking for a color just like this. I had seen swatches of a mystery polish probably on Pinterest, and it just caught my eye. It looked really beautiful on the nails, and I didn't have anything like this. So when she released this for Maker's Dozen, I was excited to get a hold of it. So for my eyes, I've picked Inspirations. And for J, I picked Jindy, and it is a new to me brand. And this one is called That Purple Ish, and it is this gorgeous Corelli. Absolutely fun. It is this sort of whited out gray leaning purple, full of a really fun mix of glitter. You've got those little diamond shapes, some large circles there. Really fun mix of colors, shapes, and sizes. And I I'm not actually sure if this brand is still in business or not, but I was able to find a whole bunch of them in a D stash recently. So for J, I picked Jindy. And for the letter K, I picked this one from Kathleen and Co. This is another brand that I recently discovered within the last, oh, probably a year, maybe a little over a year. And this particular one is called Tiger Beetle, and I got it through the HHC, Hella Handmade Creations. It's this gorgeous glowy blue with a little bit of a shifting shimmer in there, which I don't think is coming across on camera very well, but it's got a little bit of that like bright pink. Nope, just not coming across. <laughs> but the shift goes to like this bright pink and purple. It's really, really beautiful. And polishes like this look so fun on the nail. They've got this beautiful glow and that shift is really fun when you unexpectedly catch it in a different light and your polish changes. So for K, I picked Kathleen and Company. For my letter L, I picked Lemming Lacquer. This one is called Aurora Galaxy, and this one is another PPU polish that I got in a D-stash. And just look at how fun this one is. So shimmery, so sparkly, and it is a magnetic, 
So if I had a magnet or if you applied a magnet when it was on your nails, it would have this beautiful magnetic pull that is this multi-chrome shimmer. Really, really fun. Lemming Lacquer is another one that I have a handful of. I think most of them have come from Polish Pickup. I think I may have placed one order through their website. So for L, we have Lemming Lacquer. For the letter M, I picked Moonshine Manny. This is a brand that I've got a massive wish list of. <laughs> she has some beautiful polishes and some really fun collections that she's released. This particular one is called Shadowlands, and this came from the Polished Gamers January box. And this is this lovely gray polish. I love a good gray polish. And it's loaded with shifting shimmer, which of course is being a bit camera shy. It is coming across in that soft sort of blue to pink. In person though, it is much brighter. And from my angle, I am seeing a very bright fuchsia. And then you've got those shifting iridescent flakies, beautiful polish. So again, for my M, I picked Moonshine Manny. For N, the first one that I thought of was Noodles Nail Polish. This one is one that I recently discovered within the last year or so. So I don't have yet a very large collection of her polishes, but she makes some very fun Corellis. This particular one is called Berries and Cream. And I basically picked this because, now I'm totally gonna blank on her name, <laughs> but I'll post her video down below. She was posting a video on her favorite Noodles nail polishes and Noodles nail polish was one of her favorite brands. So she was really excited about it. And this particular one was one that she raved about. So I had to try it and it is very fun. I still need to wear it, but it's this beautiful off white sort of eggnog tone and it's full of these pink and purple and light gold glitters and the shimmers. So it's really fun. So for my letter N, I chose Noodles Nail Polish. And for my letter O, I only had one indie brand to choose from, and that is Octopus Party. This particular one is called I Drink and I Know Things. And this is another brand that I'm not actually sure if it is still around. I got the two bottles that I have through a D stash at different times over the last couple of years. So I'm not really sure, but it's a really fun polish. This particular one is sort of this inky purpley blue multi-chrome. And there at the edge, you can sort of see the shift that it's gonna go through. Beautiful, beautiful polish. And it's such a cute little label. See the little octopus? <laughs> so for my O, I chose Octopus Party. For my letter P, there were so many polishes to choose from, but I picked Polished for Days, they are another one of my favorite indie brands. Beautiful shimmer polishes, gorgeous formula, and this particular one is one of my absolute all-time favorites, and it is called Kiki Do You Love Me? It came from Polish Pickup back in 2019, and it's stunning. I almost didn't get this. I have to thank Dell for posting it on her videos because when I saw her live swatch this, I was in love. It was <laughs> amazing. So I added this to my cart and I'm so glad that I did. It is this glowy, shifty, blurply blue. It's very bright blue in certain lightings, but it has this shimmer tone to it that shifts to purple. It's stunning. And there at the edge of the bottle, you can see it also shifts to pink. Absolutely beautiful. Like I said, one of my all time favorites. And again, that is Kiki, Do You Love Me? And the polish brand I picked for P is Polished for Days. And for Q, the first one that I thought of and only Q indie brand is Quixotic. And this particular one is Donuts Go Nuts. And this is this beautiful, deep, sort of chocolatey brown burgundy loaded with this holographic particles as well as shifting iridescent flakies really beautiful. That's a good view there of the holographicness of it. And they are another one of my favorite indie brands. I have a lot of favorite indie brands, but they are one that just has some absolutely beautiful polishes, really fun inspirations. I always love hearing the stories of her inspirations for polish pickup. So for my letter Q, I picked Quixotic. For my letter R, I picked Rogue Lacquer. This particular one is called Here We Go Again. This is this beautiful gray shade full of shifting, I think those are multi-chrome flakies as well as some holographic particles in there. 
beautiful polish. I think a lot of the shift that I'm seeing in person is not exactly coming across on camera, but it is a gorgeous polish. She is another one that has some very beautiful collections come out. She had one from the, I believe it was called the Wilds of Arizona. Lovely polishes. I have a handful from her and just great polishes. Really like them. So again, for my letter R, I picked Rogue Lacquer. For S, there were quite a few to choose from as well. I had a few brands that even started with Sassy, but this one was closest. So I picked up Sassy Cat's Lacquer and look at that adorable label. So cute. This particular one is called Queen of Zandalaria and this one I believe came out in the Polished Gamers box and it is a gorgeous topper. When I saw this one being swatched, I think also on Dell's channel, it was like a must have, absolutely must have beautiful topper. I could see this looking so gorgeous over a number of polishes. It is full of shimmer, full of multi-chrom flakies as well as holographic glitter. It is stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. So again, for my letter S, I picked Sassy Cat's Lacquer. For T, I picked Twisting Nether. This particular one is called Magical Night, and this is a gorgeous midnight color loaded with these orange holographic glitters as well as some shimmer and an array of other sized glitters in here. It's so fun. Very gorgeous. And this is another brand that I only have a few of so far, but the polishes that I do have are really beautiful. So for my tea, I picked Twisting Nether. So I didn't have any U but I did have a letter V, and for V I picked Vapid. This particular one is called Vampires Don't Sparkle, and I believe I got this one through a D-stash. It is this really unique sort of burgundy shimmer, really vampy, and see that little subtle like shimmer from sort of a pink to an orange there at the top? Really beautiful polish. I didn't come to the Vapid game on time, if you will. Um, at their peak of popularity, I mostly saw them in D-stashes and they were going for a pretty penny, but I've been able to get some through D-stashes here and there over the last couple of years and then get a few of them through like Polish Pickup, Hella Handmade Creations, things like that. So for my letter V, I picked Vapid. And for my letter W, I picked Wildflower Lacquer. This one is called Sun Chaser, and it is one of my very few yellow nail polishes. This particular one was for a Yellow Polish Lovers Group Custom for February of this year, and it was just gorgeous. It was the flakies that really caught my attention. The swatches were stunning. It's full of these shifting iridescent flakies. And see that little green shift down there at the edge of the bottle? That's what I really found interesting to this. I wanted to see if this had top abilities and I thought that it would look really fun in the summertime and possibly in the fall with some darker fall colors. So one of my only yellows and for W's I picked Wildflower Lacquer. Then no X's, no Y's, but I did have Z. So for Z we have Zombie Claw. And this particular one is called Untamed. And I believe this one is part of her mystery nail polish collections that she does. So she takes inspiration pictures. This particular one was a bunch of lip looks that she found and was inspired by. And based on the lip look, you would buy the mystery polish and then she would make a polish based on that inspiration. And this particular one is this beautiful sort of shimmering holographic flaky. I think this one actually would probably be wearable as a topper, but look at that rainbow. Beautiful holographic, lovely shift of, in those flakies as well. So a very fun polish. And again, for my letter Z, I picked Zombie Claw. So there you have it. That was my A to Z of my Indie Nail Polish brands. Hope you enjoyed. Feel free to do the tag video as well. I'll make sure to list Amy's link down below for her video of the tag and make sure to like and subscribe for more nail polish themed videos and we'll see you in that next video.